Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent being directed at you and your loved ones immediately and permanently. I call in on the appearance of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, trying to steal from you, it is returned to you, being returned to you as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is final. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the tarot reading. But first, um, I am being guided to give a message to a group of people out there. Uh, there is something where I don't know if you all have been groomed to believe that uh, if someone is a practitioner or whatever it is, or someone has um, authority over you, they can speak things into your life and it comes into manifestation. No one has the authority to speak anything in your life or over your life. You have the Ottoman uh, authority in your life and in your in the direction that you decide to take in life. So it's all about perspective. We are all in charge of ourselves. We are all on a solo journey, but on a cosmic level, we are all one. Um, so if you are around someone that is into dark pra practices and they have made you think that they can do some type of voodoo and block your future, block your destiny, or that they have some type of authority in the spirit realm to decide what's going to happen to you and they can change your destiny, that is an absolute lie. No one has the authority to change your destiny unless you let them okay there is a reason why a lot of dark workers have to do a lot of manipulative use a lot a lot of manipulative tactics behind the scenes in order to get things to go their way um there's a reason for that that is because they know they don't have the authority to do anything when it comes to interfering with people's free will everybody has free will to do what it is that they want so there's a reason why they have to do they have to manipulate okay um, so if you are someone that feels that you are cursed or something, it's not that you are cursed. More than likely, you may have done something that you are paying karma off for, so you're in some type of debt. So let's say you did something to a light worker or to someone innocent, and all of a sudden things are just going in a dying, dying world. A, a, a downward spiral for you. You are going through karma. That is not a curse. No one can curse you. Only you can allow other people to curse you, okay? No one can curse you. No one can direct your path. No one can direct your destiny. No one can decide your fate. It is all in your hands. This is why um, in the spiritual community, we're all, always talking about the soul ascension. Um, if you are believing that someone has authority over you or they've cursed you, that means that that's you are still at the beginning of your ascension so you you have given your power to someone else and they believe that they have some type of authority to make decisions in your life okay and if anyone is making you feel that way you may want to distance yourself from them because that is not somebody that you want to be around with around for a long time um so just Keep that in mind when you are out here uh, collaborating with specific people. There are people in life who are there to be your destiny blocker. And it's because of the way they move. They purposefully do things to hinder you. And they do it from behind the scenes. Um, that is why, let's say, for example, uh, you are working a position and you know you qualify for a, a promotion right and your boss likes you he wants to promote you or she wants to promote you and then all of a sudden you are told that they don't think you qualify for the position uh because susie went in and told them that you don't do this you don't do that uh, because susie is your immediate uh, uh supervisor right that is dark work that is susie doing something to keep you stagnant in a position. So in a sense, she is trying to control your destiny. You in that situation have the 
options to either go and speak to your boss and let them know that you want to review you're asking for some type of evaluation humbly of course you want to do it diplomatically or you can start looking for a new job try to go somewhere where you will be appreciated where there's no hierarchy where it's like because someone does not like you they can decide that you don't qualify for something okay so it's something like that it's just that that's how dark workers work they know they don't have the authority to do anything to you or your destiny, so they have to do a lot of manipulation. That's where their energy staffing comes into play. When people have to defame you, slander you, uh, have to try to have you living in some type of anxious state, uh, try to cause a lot of blockages and things for you, that is the only way they, they can uh, interfere with your pathway. Um, but as far as them saying, oh, I'm higher ranking than you, so I'm telling the most high that you do not deserve something, that's not how that works. You got to tell the most high you don't want something so that they don't give it to you. Okay, but I was being guided to tell you all that. Uh, words are very important. And it's very important how people use them. There are people out here that are very manipulative when it comes to how they use words. They want to make it seem like uh, it's something that it's okay to just say anything you want. Like for me, for example, a lot of you that are uh, uh, well acquainted with my well acquainted with my platform, I'm very straight and direct with how I say things. It may come across as spiteful or malicious, but when you work with benevolent energies, that's exactly how they are. Very direct. There's no if, ands, or buts about anything. They don't beat around the bush. Uh, they'll just tell you what they have to say. There's no emotions behind it um, because it's important to be direct and straightforward with people. But when you have uh, uh, um, dark practitioners out here or just people that are wicked, period, they'll come out here and see what the cars are telling them or they'll receive some type of download, but they won't want to manipulate the message so that it comes out the way they want it to come out. And that's not how divination works. Divination, you're supposed to be straightforward with people. Um, even if it hurts your feeling, your intentions should not be to hurt people's feelings. It should just be to give them the message. If they take it out of context and you have the opportunity to clarify things with them, then you do that. But if they take it out of context and they don't want to ask questions, then it is what it is. They'll figure it out. Because in, in life overall, your intention is what matters. So I can come out here and tell you, ba 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 and you can get offended, but because I didn't have any ill intent or malicious intentions behind what I'm telling you, I don't got no karma to pay. The next person can come to tell you and tell you, come to you and tell you, blah, 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 but they're telling you that out of spitefulness, karma. There's a difference. It's the intention behind what it is you're doing or saying. Okay. So I was being told to, I was being guided to tell you all that. Um, hopefully it helps and clarifies things for people. No one has authority over your life or your destiny. You and you alone have that authority. Okay. And to be careful with the energies you choose to work with in life. Always work with benevolent energies. Only, only not those, uh, crazy dark energies that are there telling you to do whatever you want behind the scenes be careful with that uh so let's go ahead and get into our read for someone out there uh you could be a king of pentacles um right now your uh, um approach towards love is to be practical about it um so you could be a king of pentacles or a queen of pentacles it could be a man or a woman i don't know which one you are but you know energy is fluid in um tarot right now you feel your vulnerability when it comes to love you are really more so trying to be practical about it maybe you're a little bit hesitant uh to be in love right now you could be someone that's very family oriented you want to have the wife the kids and the home front taken care of and things like that uh you could be someone that's very in touch with your intuition as well someone very business savvy someone very like this down to earth right as far as being vulnerable in love, it may be something that you are looking forward to or something you are hopeful to have. Um, you don't mind being in love right, right now, but I think you are hiding that because of the people that you are around. 
you may be in fear of maybe attaching yourself to the wrong person or you may be in fear of people seeing that side of you but i am being told to tell you that it is something that will work out for you if you just put yourself out there i don't know if you have your eyes on a specific person but whoever it is that you are trying to go to it is a big yes with the sun car out here you'll just have to be straightforward and direct with that person no beating around the bush or anything like that kind of like i mentioned earlier in my guided message to the collective um you just have to be direct i think you are a little bit afraid of being vulnerable to someone in a relationship they may be a little different from you you're more so from the practical side of things or maybe you have become a little bit more practical and whoever you have your eyes on may be a little bit more eccentric so you may be a little afraid to come towards this person but you don't really have anything to be afraid of from what I'm seeing, whoever you want to go towards is very much, you know, down to earth, someone very balanced with this temperance out here. It is someone very well balanced. You could be someone that's been healing privately behind the scenes or behind closed doors and you've been keeping that to yourself because maybe of the people you are surrounded uh, by but it is absolutely okay i think this is the truth uh of what you are going through you're hiding your emotions to yourself or how you feel about someone maybe because the people around you are not quite open to that person or you being like a family man or whatever this is now you as far as a partner um you are looking for someone that is uh um uh, fearless Someone that is not afraid to go through that dark night of the soul. Someone that is not uh, afraid to be who it is that they are. Someone that's going to understand you on a spiritual level. You want someone that's going to mirror you, basically, right? Uh, you want someone that you know you don't. They don't really have to wonder, you know, what it is you're up to. Like you two will work together as a team, uh, teammates, and things like that. Like you want someone that reciprocate what it is that you are giving them is basically what I'm getting out of this message, out of this spread. You are looking for your counterpart, your divine counterpart. You want someone that's going to reflect the same thing that you are reflecting to them, which is very symbolic of the moon. Those two dogs right there, they are mirroring each other, um, and they're both intuitively connected to one another, intuitively guided. Um, they both are very much, in, uh, uh, what is it, spiritual. These are people that listen to their intuition. They're very much in touch with their spiritual side of them. I don't know if you're going through some type of awakening because I see you going from the moon to the temperance. Uh, maybe you've been living in fear for a long time about embracing this side of you. But it looks like you're coming out of the dark and stepping into the light, which is a beautiful thing. Congratulations on that. Um, so anyways, I am loving that for you. As far as all romantic wounds, I think you've dealt with a lot of people in the past that were not healed, people that did not have good intentions for you, and you are looking for someone that is going to be the complete opposite of that. You want someone that is going to be balanced, someone that's easy to work with, someone that pours into you and you pour into them, and you have for a lack of a better phrase, a good return on investment. So you're investing a lot of emotions and time into someone and you are wanting them to do the same for you as well in return. So uh, I feel like most people, they're going to have this same fear as well, especially when you've dated a lot of karmic people, people that just tend to use you for whatever it is they want out of you or people that just don't have any type of genuine intent for you uh you get kind of tired of going through that that uh, uh stage where you're just dating this person you're not getting anything out of it um it kind of gets to a place where you're like oh my gosh like i'm on a limited time right now like i'm getting older i want to settle down but it's like everybody every woman or every man around me does not have like the morals or the values that i am looking for so what do i do but then when you come across someone that has that you're in so much fear and anxiety that you may end up pushing them away or trying to stay away from them because you just don't want to be disappointed again and i think that's what you've been going through but you're coming out of that stage um so that's a beautiful thing i think what it is and what you're afraid of as well when it comes to your partner or your love situation has to do with the same thing that I mentioned before. You investing in someone and very little being, little to nothing being given to you. And I think you're really just someone that's looking for emotions. 
uh, emotional reciprocity, uh, just values, morals. That's all you're looking for in a relationship, like the, the, the family dynamic and things like that. You could be someone that's very big on family, but maybe the family you created before is not as family oriented as it should be. There's some type of disappointment you are dealing with from the past and it's something that has been haunting you for a long time. Um, so you're going to have to learn how to kind of let that go and start off small is what I'm being told to tell you with whoever you are interested in and make sure that you don't bring your past wounds to you. Okay. Uh, you, I don't want to expose you, whoever you are, but there is some type of unhealthy habit, uh, <sighs> There's something where it has to do with, like, your emotions. Like, I don't know if you've always have to be, like, emotionally, uh, I don't know what the word, like, you, your emotions have been, been on pause, is what I'm hearing. Like, you haven't been emotionally vulnerable with people. There's something about that. But you are being told to be a little bit more loving and genuine and compassion with yourself. Because there's something that you are wanting from your partner. But you are kind of in an energy where you don't want to give that because you don't want to be disappointed. But in order for you to give that to someone, you're going to have to give it to yourself first. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh... Yeah, you're going to have to give that to yourself first. I don't know how to put that, but is that what you're looking for from someone? You got to give it to yourself first is what I'm being told to tell you. Like, if you're looking for love, you're going to have to give love. Uh, because right now you're showing up also as a king of cups in reverse, which means that your emotions may be all over the place. You may not be emotionally available. Uh, there's some type of play you do with people's emotions, like you gaslight because you, you're used to people gaslighting you and you've kind of learned that trait and you've been misusing it for a long time. You could be a bit of a hothead. Uh, I don't know what it is about you. You're showing up as like a king of pentacles, which means you're supposed to be down to earth and practical, but you have a fiery side to you. Like you're very hard headed. <laughs> I don't know how to put that. Like you're very hard headed. Uh, you could, you could be a little bit impulsive as well. Uh, I don't even know what the word misanthropic, something like that. Okay. Like you have some type of obsessive personality to you that you need to calm down on that front. Like you're very complicated and I don't know how to, I don't know how to fix this because it's like, what the heck is this person up to? Okay. You may have some, I don't know, like, sir, your, your mind is complicated. You may have some type of misconception about love. Like, it's kind of like, oh, Lord, I don't want to say this. It can be a little bit childish, but I see why it is that way. Like, your, your perception of love is a little bit immature. It's that you live in some type of fantasy. And the fantasy you're living in does not allow the person that you want to be with to be them. So you have some type of idea of who the person is that you're going towards. And you feel like they need to be that way. If you get to them and they are not that way, you're going to be disappointed. And that's the mindset that you need to let go of. Okay? Uh, you need to come, I don't want to say come back to reality because reality is a matrix. Um, but there's something where when you get to whoever it is you're going through, you go into, you need to allow them to be them. Do not try to impose your belief systems, your way of living. Maybe it works for you, but that does not mean it works for this person. And if you can do that, the both of you will be happy together. Okay, um, you may be, I don't, like, you're so complicated, it's going to piss me off. Uh, it's going to piss me off. I don't know if you're a traditional, like, I don't know if you got in a relationship before for money. I don't know what this is. But your problem with a relationship right now has to do with something that has to do with, like, either being married, maybe you want to ask someone to marry you, and you don't know if they're going to say yes. Maybe the reason you're getting married as well may be the problem. 
your idea of what a marriage is may be a problem as well and you'll need to fix that i don't know what the heck it is with you sir but there's something about your perception is what's coming up your perception on relationship on love uh on vulnerability uh being vulnerable with other people you may have a lot of toxic ways still in you that you need to address uh so that you don't come to someone expecting them to be something that they've never been uh, because you're setting yourself short when you come to people expecting them to be something uh, that they've never been, never pretended to be. Um, yeah. In order to balance or find some type of solution to your relationship problems or your, listen, sorry, your energy is getting on my last nerve. Uh, in order to balance your situation out or your perspective on love, whatever this is, there's some type of, there's something you need to correct. And I feel like this has to do with your mindset, how you see people, how you view the world, how you view uh, relationships. I don't know if this is someone in the upright I'm talking about, but it could be since I see you going to like a temperance energy kind of thing that you're going through some type of transition. Uh, but in order to balance things out, because I see the wheel of fortune out here in the reverse. There's some type of debt you got to pay. And I don't know what that debt is. Maybe you got to make amends with someone. Come clean. Be straightforward. Uh, you could be going through some type of karma. Maybe you worked against this person. Uh, I don't know what this is. Maybe you're going through some type of divorce as well. Some type of separation. Whatever this is. I think there's some type of debt you got to pay. In order to be able to move on with your life. And be able to uh have the relationship that you want to but there's some type of karmic debt that is on you is stuck on you like white on rice um but you're gonna have to rely on your inner strength either to confess something is what i'm hearing or to be bold there's something about your inner strength that you're gonna have to stay strong I don't know if you expected something to go your way or you expected something to happen and it didn't happen but you're gonna have to find the strength to either confess uh, you're working against the flow as well is what I'm hearing. Like you're trying to force something to be what it's not. Like you got to let go of control. You're trying to control something that's not meant to be controlled. You could be trying to control an energy that's not meant to be controlled. So you're going to have to kind of work on that. Okay. That's one of the solutions or a few of the solutions. Because I feel like I gave you a few. Let go of being controlling. You're like a control freak is what I just heard. And I don't, I don't mean to call you a freak, but, uh, <laughs> sorry. No, not sorry. Anyways, what do you need to know about your relationship right now? Uh, if, if you are in a relationship right now, there's some type of betrayal going on. I see the ten of swords out here. If you are in a relationship, there is absolutely someone that you need to be paying attention to, whether this is a lover or someone you're married to. I don't know if you are around a king of cups reverse. Or you are, I don't know what it is you are. You could be someone that goes both ways. Or you could be someone that is, a, 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 you know, same-sex relationship man, which is fine. Uh, as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. Uh, but you may want to be careful. Or this could just be a friend of yours that may have betrayed you. But whoever this queen, uh, King of Cups is around you, there's some type of betrayal that took place. And they are still plotting something against you, plotting to, to take some type of action. Someone did something, uh, and they may be pissed off that it didn't go in their favor, but they're still determined to stop you. They may even be trying to come after the person you are trying to go towards. So you need to be cautious of that as well. Um, oh, Lord. That's a whole lot. It like came out with the Ten of Swords. That's not like an easy betrayal. That's a heavy betrayal heavy also what i just picked up on is that you could be trying to go towards someone and there's a king of cups reverse that's trying to put an end to that he's trying to stop you or stop this uh queen of cups from being from being able to connect with you there's something like there's some type of rivalry going on maybe you're not aware of this person but they are aware of you uh they're watching whoever it is that you are trying to go go to um I don't know what the heck this, this mess is, but y'all got to figure it out before you go to that Empress Energy, Star C, because they don't got time for you all in your madness. Uh, anyways, what are you looking for as far as a partner? You are looking for someone that's very loyal, down to earth, someone very clever, open to new experiences and things of that nature. Um, so you're someone that is big on loyalty. 
You could have your eyes on someone that's younger. Maybe that's why you are afraid of coming towards them. So you're taking time to heal and open and broaden your mind or something like that. Um, I don't know if you were working with this King of Cups reverse before in the past and something has gone out of control. He's going through some type of bad karma and you got some type of confession to make. I don't know what this is. But you are afraid of making an offer, a love proposal, whatever this is. But as, at the end of the day, if you do the right thing, good shall come to you. But there's something you all have been doing behind the scenes that have caught up to you. And this King of Cups reverse you've been working with is pissed off as heck. Someone's very mad. I don't know who this is in your life. But be very cautious. Uh, be very cautious of this person. It's just a yucky energy. This is a yucky energy. Someone is very like... Like this King of Cups. He is so pissed off. Someone is angry. Like he's angry. Yeah, he's angry. I, I, I pulled this card out earlier, right? It fell out again. Someone is very angry. Like they, they're trying to end a woman before you get to them or something like that. Um, so maybe by the time you get to this woman, you may be like a saving grace for her as far as what this King of Cups is trying to do to her. I don't know what this is, uh, but I'm being taught to tell you in order to find the kind of relationship you are wanting, you're going to have to change the kind of people you're dating. You're used to dating a specific kind of women, women, but these are the kind of women that you need to be with. Ones that have class about themselves, down to earth, humble, not, a, not like, um, you know, people that think they're better than other people. Self-observed, egotistical, narcissistic, like people that operate from their shallow side. They're telling you to kind of stay clear of them. This, these are the kind of women you need to be around. Like people that are sure of themselves, assertive, but in a humble way. They don't got. They don't have to announce their presence. They don't. They're not looking for attention. They're not desperate to be seen or heard. They're not competing with other people. Uh, people, women that are going to put you in a high vibrational energy, but whoever the people are that you've been dating are absolutely the opposite of what you are wanting to settle down with. Uh, if you want to settle down, you're going to have to let go of them, but just know that there is a King of Cups reverse around you that is in competition with you. I don't even think it's a competition. It's just that he does not want you to be with this woman. I don't know if he's from this woman's past, if you two were lovers. You two were friends, whatever this is. He does not want you with this person. Like he wants to hold you back or he wants to hold her back. Whichever one it is. Whoever this King of Cups reverse is, he's related or familiar with one of you or both of you. Maybe one of you is more familiar with him than the other person. But there's a King of Cups in someone's immediate environment or in someone's energy that is just desperate to stop them from having some type of fulfillment in life whether this is a ten of cups ten of pentacles he does not want it to come into fruition i see a lot of cups and pentacles cards out here so this could have both to do with love and uh work like you two are going to come together and build your own community or something of that nature and it's going to be very prosperous and this king of cups reverse may know that and this is why he is trying to make sure that that does not come into fruition and it's absolutely not going to be going in his favor because the most high there's some type of lesson they're about to teach this, teach this masculine to put him in his place like someone is ruthless is what i'm hearing just ruthless careless about how they move just absolutely cold hearted and just like he is burning I don't know who this man is, but sir, we're here to talk about you. Just be vigilant. Whoever you're going towards is a little different than what you are accustomed to, but it is absolutely going to be worth your time if you do the work genuinely. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next week. Goodbye for now.